welcome to week three of class. I'm glad to have you here. Um, in this week, we're going to focus on learning how to draw on the canvas in Simple GUI. I'll start this lecture off by explaining a little bit about how computers work and how they organize the drawing process. We'll talk a little bit about the kind of coordinate systems you're going to use when you do the drawing. And then we'll just do a really simple, quick application in Simple GUI. We'll open a frame and we'll draw some on the canvas. All right, well, let's go to it. So let's talk a little bit about how your computer works. In particular, how does it draw things that you see on the screen? So the starting point is that your monitor has several properties. It has, for example, a resolution. So you'll see maybe 1280 by 720. That's the size in pixels, the number of little dots the computer draws. I mean, you see this on your big screen TV. The second thing is it has a refresh rate. It's how often the computer draws what you see on the screen. So um, most computers, the refresh rate is around 60 frames per second. Um, well, what is it doing 60 times a second? The computer is asking every application you have to go through and draw itself. How does it know, how does an application know how to draw itself? Well. It has a special event handler attached to it. It's called the draw handler. So at 60 times a second, the computer's operating system is asking an application to draw itself. So computer operating system and how does it know what to do? Each application has registered a special event handler called the draw handler. Now you may also hear this called the paint handler. So every time the computer wants to draw what appears on its display, it calls this draw handler. Every application has to go through and register a draw handler that says, when it's time to draw myself, what do I need to do? So what we're going to see here is that in Simple GUI, we're going to build a draw handler that's going to tell us what we need to draw on the canvas. We'll create and register a draw handler that draws on the canvas. And how are we going to draw on that canvas? Well, we're going to use a collection of draw operations that are defined in Simple GUI. I'm going to go kind of a comment here about Simple GUI. This is the way all event-driven programming systems work in terms of GUIs. There's always a draw handler. The draw handler has operations that allow you to draw on the canvas of the frame. And that what happens is once you understand the principle behind simple GUI, you'll find that other GUI methods that Python have use a very similar setup. So once you've learned here in simple GUI will actually be applicable in lots of other Python uh, graphical user interfaces. Before we do an example inside Code Sculptor of drawing on the canvas, Let's go through and talk a little bit about how we actually tell the computer where to draw things on the canvas. So to do that, we're going to talk about canvas coordinates. So here you can see I've drawn a big rectangle. This is kind of the canvas that you would see where you're going to do your drawing. And this was created by a call to simple GUI called uh, Simple GUI Create Frame. And so remember, the frame includes lots of things. The canvas is the portion on the right-hand side. Um, and you specified a width and a height for that canvas. So the width was kind of the horizontal size in pixel, and the height was the vertical size in pixels. So the kind of most critical thing you're going to do is you're going to need to specify a position on the canvas for where to do some drawing. So let's put a little dot where we want to do some drawing here. So let's say we want to do it there. And we need to give it a position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify it is a pair of numbers x and y. And I put them between square brackets. This is going to be Python list here. But just for now, just assume I always kind of put my numbers together with square brackets around them. And I'd like to specify that position on the canvas. So we're going to use Cartesian coordinates. The numbers x and y are going to represent two things. They're going to represent 
the horizontal displacement, and the vertical displacement. So we have to figure out the displacement from where. So the, one of the critical things to remember here is that we're working both on the canvas and in frames. The origin is always in the upper left. And that comes from the fact that kind of TVs when they're first built scanned from left to right and then top to bottom. So it doesn't work the same way you saw kind of at high school geometry where the origin wasn't always in the lower left. The origin for our canvas is always going to be in the upper left. You'll see this in all kind of GUI systems. Okay, so how can we specify then a position x, y? Well, it's pretty easy. We start from the origin. And for the first coordinate x, we go over, we go over x pixels. And then for the y coordinate, we go down. How much do we go down? We go down y pixels. So that then specifies a position on the uh, canvas that we can then do drawing operations on. So let's go do an example in Code Sculptor. So let's do an example of drawing on the canvas in Code Sculptor. So here I've got a tab pulled up. I have a set of comments that kind of describe what I need to do. I've started off imported simple GUI. Um, I'm really kind of four steps. I have to define a draw handler, I have to create a frame, I should register the draw handler, and then I need to start the frame. Now we already know how to do two of those, so let's go ahead and fill that in real quick. Um, we've created a frame last week. I could say frame equal simple GUI dot create frame. Let's call it maybe test. And we'll give it, let's say the width will be 300 pixels and its height will be 200 pixels. And then to get that frame to pop up, we're going to need to say frame.start here. Just run that and make sure we did that right. And so what did I do? I forgot to put a double quote there. Let's run it again. Okay, good, good thing I tested that first before I started adding new stuff in. I have the canvas here. It's a 300 by 200 kind of black rectangle. So now let's draw some stuff inside it. So to do that, I'm going to need to go over and figure out how to work with the canvas. And luckily, the docs have some examples. So here we are, the canvas. There are going to be two things we're going to need to do. We're going to need to register the draw handler, and then we're going to need to make calls that use the canvas to kind of draw. Um, let's look at the, the register, because um, how we register, because I think there's something interesting you'll see here. So when we register the draw handler, we give it, it's you set draw handler, that's fine. We give it the name of the draw handler. But notice what the structure of the draw handler should look like. Um, remember how for input fields, we passed the text as a parameter into the event handler for the input field? Well, here we're going to get past the canvas as a parameter into the draw handler. So now all the operations can actually, that we use to draw on the canvas, can actually access the canvas. Um, let's see, so what the heck, let's go down and look at one more. Let's look at how we draw some text. So we give it the canvas, we use the draw text method, we give it the text, we give it a position on the canvas, we give a font size, we give a color. So I think we've got enough to go and do things. So let's go try and do that. So I'm going to go through and say, I'll just call my draw, draw handler draw, takes the canvas as input, and we're going to go through and say canvas dot draw text and we'll be very friendly and say hello and let's see what are we going to put it let's put it 100 100 and we'll do a font size will be 24 and we're going to need, we need to give a color so you can specify colors as html5 color strings what that really means is just make a string with the color name of the color in it so let's do white And we need to register the draw handler. So I go down here and I say frame.set draw handler. I'll give it draw. I think that's good enough. Let's run it and see what happens. Very nice. So we now have our canvas has the word hello printed inside of it. I want to point out one thing here. Um, this value 100, 100 here was interesting. That was a position on the canvas. 
It's a position where this string was drawn. Now you might ask one kind of interesting question, what was this position 100, 100 relative to where this string was drawn? So we could logo look in the docs, but let's just do something else instead. Let's go through and just draw a little tiny circle wherever 100, 100 is, and that'll give us a way to kind of see what the position is relative to where the string was drawn. So let's say canvas dot draw circle. And we'll give it that position 100, 100. Let's give it a radius, make it really a small radius and kind of the width of the circle is gonna be very small and let's make it, oh, what the heck, let's make it red. And let's just fire that up and see what happens. So here you can see the result. So 100, 100 is right where this red circle is drawn. So it's the lower left-hand portion of the string. And that comes because we kind of always line strings up on the bottom of the bottom of the page or on the on the on the line. So we're going to specify the position for a string here in terms of kind of the lower left position of where we want the string drawn on the canvas. So that's enough to kind of get you started. Um, Scott's going to talk a little bit about doing some string processing because that'll be an important part of your week three mini project. And then I'll come back and I'll do another longer example uh, of how to actually draw on the canvas. I'll see you in a see you in a sec.